mitral valve to that and the tip of the uh, right ventricle and short axis here on CT scan or MRI anyway uh, you can see cross section of the left ventricle and right ventricle at the superior part this part of the RV is narrower the inferior part of the RV as you can see in both uh, this all uh, for e uh, three images you can see here upper part or superior part of the RV is narrower than uh, inferior part of the RV this superior end to the RVOT and this inferior part end to the tricuspid valve so keep in your mind the shape of the RV short axis uh, is not completely like this on the, all those uh, images we see even in echo most of the time is close to this but a little less more close to this if you get completely RV anyway this one keep in your mind now let's see the definition of the RV focus view in the two society in as I, I said apical four is the view that has all four chamber largest diameter this is my definition but uh, those two echocardiography society American uh, uh, Society of Echocardiography and British Society of Echocardiography they have a little uh, different definition especially about RV focused view on this image they make a schematic like that and they bring uh, this uh, logic reasoning that for getting ab uh, RV focused view this is our classic based on their description this green line plate or cut section is our classic and standard apical four chamber view for RV focused view based on their definition their definition we have to twist probe cut from the apical standard apical four chamber clock counterclockwise counterclockwise until we see without changing LV size we see largest RV so it finally give us this uh, cutting line or sector and this is RV focus view based on definition of them you can see here the schematic okay here for RV this is our apical standard apical four chamber then we twist it a little counterclockwise then we get this one largest diameter and even they explain this is largest diameter we measure for that one base and mid but the same time uh, in the standard they mentioned that we measure base and uh, mid on the RV uh, if it's largest one why we measure there if not anyway there is a little uh, contradict but in my opinion in my opinion just my opinion not more RV focus uh, view is the same as apical four chamber standard with just different angle of insonation what does mean here as you can see the uh, MRI of the to the two top are diastole and systole the, as I explained the inferior part of the RV this part as you can see is rectangle here the same at systole or diastole is rectangle and our uh, standard four chamber plane pass through this line so all from here to here is almost the same in my opinion so for getting and here the same anyway we don't need to twist counterclockwise the point and concept of the RV focused view is that we uh, we create uh, angle with the free wall of the uh, right ventricle so we make it more oblique or less parallel let me put here 
here we have uh, apical for for getting right RV focus view we just move our probe to the lateral or our right side and a little towing in this way the apex move to the left sun way direction become less parallel to the free wall less parallel and you can see here compared to the uh, classic standard for that is almost completely parallel in this RV focus it become less parallel so in this case we use more resolution because in the standard is uh, almost parallel so we use lateral resolution for free wall imaging but in the RV focus we make it less parallel we use a little axial resolution and we improve improve RV free wall resolution the size of the all four chamber shouldn't change at all from the classic to the RV focus should be the same if you are fanning up uh, or to start LVO2 opening if you are fanning down uh, coronary sinus start opening and you lose the size of the one or both of the atrium so final point is that for getting RV focus just move without twisting without any angling just you sweep your or move your probe to your right side few millimeter maximum one centimeter or sometimes two centimeter as long as you don't lose you don't slide up or slide down and a little towing you make it as much as possible septum and free wall more oblique so you have highest resolution then uh, you, you can measure all those stuff doesn't matter any of those maneuver you use if your measurement is show is high mean enlargement you have to prove it in other two different or at least three other different view for the right ventricular size one of them were for measurement dimension of the base mid and length of the rv it doesn't matter uh, you you use my technique or those academic society just remember your measurement should be at three dimension at the end of the diastole this is the little not right you have to uh, tricuspid valve close almost correspond with the uh, q or r way on the QRS complex then you measure at the one third base of the RV the largest diameter parallel to the tricuspid annulus not this way not this horizontal to the picture parallel to the tricuspid annulus and the mid almost at the mid the RV usually below the papillary muscle almost mid parallel to the first line and the length you go see a loop back and forth find the connection of the rv apex to the uh, septum then tip of that to the annulus almost center of the tricuspid annulus not the baseline annulus line this is the way you measure for RV dimensions. Whichever you use, my technique or those society technique recommend, if the, your measurement was over limit normal and give impression there is some RV enlargement, you have to prove it in three other view on the plaques, here measure it on the piece axe and in subcostal too so if you prove in all other three windows your rvot any of those even they are different uh, part of the uh, rv but still part of the rv so if the, the apical four or rv focus enlarge in other those three view it should it should show enlargement too otherwise you are off axis and overestimating on that view
I hope uh, make it clear this view. Please put your uh, comment. I, I like to hear. Up to the next time. Have a wonderful time.